Hello everyone. Today we will see a program based on tech number. So first of all we will understand what is tech number. Okay, let's take an example. Like if I take an example 2025. See, the first condition for tech number is that a number's digits must be even. You can see that there are four digits. All the digits are four. So four is an even number. Okay. And let's divide it from middle. When you divide it middle from middle, you will get 2 and 25. Sorry, 20 and 25. So we have divided this number into two parts. Okay, and now let's add it. When you add it, what you get? You get 45. Okay, and when you make the square of 45, and then you get the number itself. This is what? Take number. Other example you can take like 9801. When you add it like 98 plus 01, you get 99. And when you do the square of 99, you get 9801 again. So these kind of numbers are called tech number. Tech number must be having the digits in even form and it has to be divided from middle. Means if, the, if it is of six digit, three this side, three that side. Okay, so this is what tech number example. We are going to see a Java program to check whether an entered value is tech number or not. So let's go to the system. Let's type it. Let's open an old program and let's copy first few lines. Then after we will change the class name. We will change the number of variables as per the requirement. Let's see how many variables we require here. Okay. First of all, what we are going to do, we will do the class name. We will change the class name here. The class name will become what? It will be tech. Okay. Now let's see how many variables are required. Let's take n for the number. Okay. And we, here we will write that the entered value will be stored in n. Then after we need some more variables such as for when we divide the number, we need the left side number and the right side number. For that we will declare variable. We need a variable to store the sum of the uh, numbers. We need a temporary variable to store the entered value also that will be num. Okay. And for the left side numbers we will store that will be stored in L and for the right side let's declare R. Okay. So these are some variables required by us. Let's declare sum as 0 that is SS. Okay. Now what we have to do? we will store the n that is entered by the user in num so that the value of n will not be affected that will be remain as it is okay now let's run the while loop let's run a while loop let's put the condition that the condition is that the value should be greater than 0 till the number is greater than 0 then what we are going to do we are going to we are going to increase the value of a counter variable that we have declared for counting the number of digits of given number that is d plus plus let's keep it initial value 0 okay and let's divide then number by 10 so what will happen in this way when uh, the loop will terminate you will get the number of the digit of the given number okay the next task is to check whether the number of digits of the number are even is even or not okay so for that we will do we will do the modulus work that is number module by 2 if it is 0 it means that the digits are in even form if it is true means if the digits are even then we have to go to the next process and the next process is we have to divide the number we have to divide the number into two parts that is left and right first two digit and the last two digit what we are going for uh, what we are going to do for that is we will module the number by 100 means we will get the remainder after the division by 100 so what will happen when you module it by 100 you will get the last two digit that is the digit at the place of ones and tens okay and that we will store in the right okay and the left two digit that is the digits of the place of hundred and thousand you will store by dividing the number by 
100 okay so in this way you will get the left and right values the next step is what add these two values that is the value of l and r you can add it in the variable sum let's remove this ss let's keep here sum okay now when you get the value of l and r then what we have to do next we have to do the square of this sum okay so we are going to do the square of this sum after doing the square of this sum that has to be checked with the number whether it is equal or not okay and if it is equal then we will print a message that the given value or the number is a tech number or if this condition is false it means that the entered value is not a tech number so let's update the message okay we will write and then concatenation sign let's give a space concatenation sign again and then the message is is a tech number let's copy this line and put the else part okay let's close the scope and let's put the else part is not a tech number after that we will close the if block then we will close the main function and the class our program is over it's time to save the program we'll go to file and save option there we will define a file name let's give the file name tech.java okay now after that we have to click on save as type all files click on the save button the program is successfully saved okay then we will go to command prompt for the compilation and the execution of the program let's go to f drive okay f colon enter now cd space the name of the folder where the programs are saved that is java programs now let's write java c space tech dot java the program is successfully compiled let's write here java space tech the name of the program okay press enter the program will be successfully compiled enter a number let's give a value here 2025 2025 is a tech number okay let's re-execute let's give another value okay enter the value 5687 it's not a tech number let's re-enter okay enter a number let's enter 9801 9801 is a tech number so this is a program based on tech number like share and subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notification